Hey YouTube, what is up and welcome back to tutorial number 8 and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make links on the same web page. So some of you guys are probably wondering why I am at the Wikipedia website and reading up about the University of South Africa and there are two reasons and the first reason is actually that this is the university which I go to now. Um, I applied there last year and I got accepted to study information technology so that's programming and networking and stuff which is pretty cool so this is the university that I'm going to and I just thought I'd I'd share that with you guys and if any other guys from UNISA are watching don't be afraid to leave a comment and I'll reply back to you and the second reason uh, why I'm here is because I wanted to show you guys how to make a link to the same web page. So as you can see, UNISA or Wikipedia, sorry, has got a whole table of contents here which you can click on and then link down to the paragraph. So let's say I wanted to read up about when UNISA was founded. I'd go here, I'd click on UNISA Foundation and BAM! There we go, I'm at the paragraph about UNISA Foundation. UNISA was founded and established in 1966. Now imagine I wanted to come here and that table of contents wasn't there. I'd have to come read oh, UNISA, mm -mm -mm. you know, like looking for foundation. Okay, that's not there. Okay, no. Uh, when was UNISA founded? Mm, don't know, don't know. Uh, can't find it. Mm. And like eventually, you know, Ah, oh, UNISA Foundation, okay. So, you know, that's that's how the linking to the same page is useful and that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do in this tutorial. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, just close Wikipedia and uh, let's get started. And uh, I prepared a web page in the, just before this tutorial. Hold on, I've lost my mouse. Wow, where are you? There we go. No, I lost it again. Whoop, there we go, found it. Cool. Uh, it was lost on the other screen somewhere. Embarrassing. But anyways, so I prepared this uh, web page, I guess, if you can call it, um, just before this tutorial. Uh, it's basically just like a whole bunch of rubbish, really. It's like some content, lorem, ipsum, whatever, all, you know, uh, what is that, Latin? And then we get to this paragraph down here that says, this is the only paragraph that makes sense. Let's see if we can find this paragraph. And then there's an image over here when you scroll further down and then just some more rubbish again. So uh, let's go back to Notepad++ where I've got all of this code in or here already. So uh, this is just an example. You guys can probably make up all your own rubbish as well, just as long as you've got a really long page that you have to scroll to get to whatever you're looking for. And uh, then what we need to do is we need to find that paragraph. There we go. If we want to make a link that will link down to this paragraph over here that says this is the only paragraph that makes sense. The first thing I have to do is make a target over here. So let me just add in my anchor tags. And uh, I'm not going to put anything in between here because I don't want it to be actually clickable. But, um, oh, I don't want any of the text to turn blue or anything. And then I'm going to give my, my first anchor tag an attribute called name. So obviously I, I told you guys that uh, when you make a, uh, an attribute, it's the name of the attribute and then equals and then two quotation marks. And inside there you put your attribute. So I'm just going to give it a name called sense seeing as it's the only paragraph that makes sense. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're not going to make an href or anything because this is just the destination which we want to land up at once we click our link. And right at the top of the page, if I scroll all the way up, we can make our link. So let's just give some space so that it looks tidy. And uh, there we go. We'll just add in our anchor tags and then we can you know, put a link up here that says sense or something so that we can link to the only page that makes sense. And then we'll add in our href attribute, which we learned about in the last two tutorials. And 
in here we're gonna put the pound sign or I call it the hash I don't know what anyone else calls it and then we're gonna put the name of our name attribute down here which is sense so let me scroll all the way up there again and just type sense and when I save this and I run this in Firefox we land up with this link at the top of the page here and uh, if I click this link we go straight to the page that makes sense or the paragraph that makes sense how cool is that sense and I'm there and if I scroll all the way back up yeah so that's pretty cool that's you know it's quite easy to make actually so uh, why don't we just go ahead and make another one so uh, let's why don't we just link down to that image over there cool so let's make my target here a and uh, NDA and in here we'll just type in name equals and then we'll just call it image or something yeah and when I scroll back up to the top of my page obviously I just need to do the same thing again just make a link so uh, might as well just put that on a new line what did I call it? I called it image if I'm correct and then we'll just type the image over here awesome and if I go back to Firefox and refresh I should have two links at the top of the page there we go so now when I click on sense I land up here by the paragraph that makes sense and if I scroll all the way to the top and I click on the image I get the image how cool is that so uh, there we go guys that's how you make a link within the same web page and also how it's useful uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe please check out my YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials and if you guys found this video helpful then uh, feel free to like share or leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video